y'all boys, man? I'm back All with right. another video for y'all. This is video two of seven <coughs> about Aiden Ross and what everyone is scared to say about him. I'm going to be honest in this video. You know what I'm saying a lot of these opinions that I have, a lot of people may not like, a lot of people may like, but um, if y'all enjoying the content, this is video two of seven. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button. Let's just get into it right now. Let's so, talk about Aiden Ross, man. A lot of y'all know who Aiden Ross is. A lot of y'all don't. A lot of y'all have come to hate him. And a lot of y'all have loved him for a long time, right? But one right. thing can't be denied. Now, let me those. pause this real quick. Now, I have heard about Aiden Ross. I've knew about Aiden Ross since 2K21 when he was running up 2K with Duke, with Duke Dennis. If y'all if y'all know who Duke Dennis is, y'all should know who he is in what case it may be. That's how I knew about Aiden Ross. Ever since then, I've seen a few things that he's been doing in what case may be. And I tend to stay away from from the actions that he's been doing. So I'm like, eh, nah, brother, I'm I'm cool. I'm cool on it, bro. Like, if this is what you do, then go ahead. But for the but for the for the safety of me or anything that I may stumble across, you know, clips here and there. I understand it's entertainment, but that's just something I don't really watch. You know what I'm saying? If you see how he moves, you'll know. So, that's that's all I'm saying. It stinks. This man definitely changed the streaming game. Like, for a lot of streamers, a lot of new streamers, the streaming game is completely changed due to the impact of Aiden Ross and the ascension, the rise of Aiden Ross. You know what I'm saying? I just got to give him his flowers on that. I know a lot of people may not want to do that, but for sure, right. it definitely, definitely changed the shit. I'm not taking away from a lot of people that's paved the way before him, but right. as far as the new generation of streamers and shit like that, this nigga definitely, I'm saying he's done his, he's done his thing, bro, for sure. Like he contributed a lot. Right. Now we don't have to go into the whole story of Aiden Ross and how he came up. Everybody knows how he came up. Whatever. Right. He used to be on streams of rappers, you know, doing different things like that, being sus on stream, you know, yeah. making weird jokes and shit like that. Whatever. And now he's, you know, going into the stage where he doesn't care about getting canceled. And all this other shit, doing streams with different people, shoot. and he hates to. And let me go ahead and pause this right here. Shoot, hey, <laughs> and at hey, that man's got a bag. At the end of the day, the man's got a bag. He's got a bag. So if y'all cancel him now, if y'all cancel this man now, that's not gonna much matter to him too much because he's already got a bag. This man's got a whole bag on him, so it won't much make no difference. Whether you want to cancel him or not, but that's that's just my opinion. Twitch, so that's why he went of to course. kick. Now he's at where he's at, where he can do anything he wants, and this is the content that we're getting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like wacky content, like out of nowhere type of content, and it's definitely working for him. And it's a lot of things people are definitely scared to say about him, as far as like giving him a platform, giving him more attention. Right. But I just have to be honest because. This is something I've been kind of holding back on, like, saying behind the scenes to my folks and shit like that. Like, people would talk about Aiden Ross, and I just say something about it or whatever. But I just thought, like, yo, I might as well just make this into a video. Like, I've had plenty of thoughts that I've, like, written down and different things like that. Like, when I'm doing different scripts or different videos, like, something may pop up. I may write that down and shit like that. But here we are, right? The first thing right. is, he's actually more popular than ever, despite him being a brand risk and all this other shenanigans going on where he right. talked against Twitch and all that shit like that. He has oh. a lot more popularity. You would think after he brought rappers on his stream and famous people on his stream and stuff like that, after that little wave was done, he would just, like, lose all his popularity and, you know, his viewership would drop. Though his viewership has dropped a little bit, like, he has mm -hmm. loyal viewers. He's had those loyal... Exactly. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people make it seem like, oh... He's going to lose viewers if he goes to a whole nother platform. Mm, that's not necessarily the case. That's not necessarily the case. That's not necessarily the case. Because I am guarantee you. Because I've known some people who was on Twitch at one point, And they plan on making a move to go to a different platform where they are being seen. And this, that, next one, Z. So, my thing about that one is this. Do what's best for you. You know what I'm saying? Do what's best for you. If you feel like you're going to be in a much comfortable situation where you're going to be much seen, you know what I'm saying, all that good stuff, that you couldn't couldn't on the another on the from the platform that you was before, then go ahead and do it. A lot of people is afraid of risk. A lot of people is afraid of risk. The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. A 
lot of people is afraid of risk. And I need people to understand that it is okay to take risk. It is okay to take risk as long as you don't give up on something that you're going for. As I continue to push him, he has update pages and, you know, he has a plug channel, stuff like that, whatever. He's maintaining his relevancy and he's probably more famous than ever by saying controversial things. And you know what allows him to say that? He's on kick now. <laughs> like I mentioned right. earlier, he's on kick. So he can say anything he wants. He can do anything he wants, you know, with some, some sort of like, you know, guidelines and policies. But like, for sure, like 90% of the time, he's doing what he wants. Right. He basically owns some stake in kick. He knows the owner. He's cool with the people that's, you know, that's up top. So um, he's basically up top. Like, Amazing. so he can do whatever he wants. Right. And that definitely helps him. The other day he had a stream where he had a fake Kim Jong-un in his stream. Had like 400k people watching him, like just baited 400k people into watching. Bruh. That's just insane to do. Like you think somebody that's irrelevant or you know fell off and shit like that, like is doing something like that, bro? And people may say botting. It could be botting, but let's be real here. On average, when some crazy shit like that happens, a lot of people are gonna tune in. It's simple as that. Simple bait. But the viewership right. did go down when he saw the fake Kim Jong Un. Like people was like, bro, what? Like, I tuned in for a little bit. Like, I think I came in, like, a little bit after he revealed it was, like, who actually it was, whatever. If it was, like, fake or real, whatever. Or if it was actually him. And I was like, bro, what? Another thing Aiden has done was use the people around him to add to his relevancy, but doesn't solely depend on him to stay relevant. So people like right. Sneeko, Izzy Prime, Neon, recently Fousey before he got locked up. A lot of streamers uh, and content creators do this, like DDG and Kai. They bring people up like that to add to the content. But they don't really depend on that. They can do things by themselves. This brand risk version of Aiden Ross, he just throws you curveballs. Pause. That sounds kind of crazy. But you know uh, what I mean. He throws I, you curveballs. I get what you're talking about. You don't I, I get what you're talking about. Some people may not get it and they were trying to be weird and trying to be childish but i get you brother i don't know what you're getting with each stream which allows people to come back and he has replayability you know new people also tune in as well that's why he you know he had 400 people in the stream rumored to be 700k i think don't take my word for it take the owner of kick take his word, word. for it. i think the view the view count was actually broken <laughs> the view count was actually broken on that thing like everyone thinks the stream went to 450,000 viewers it actually yeah. got up to 700,000 but the view count oh. the website crashed uh, the whole thing crashed. You got the <laughs> 700,000. Now, I want to rate Aiden's recent content. We're going to rate it by W, L, and mid. So the jail stream he did recently, it was an L. I'll be honest. It just was just cringy. Yeah. This shit would just, it, it would just. Now, again, like I said, um, I'm the type of guy that don't really, again, like I said before, I'm the type of guy that doesn't really watch Aiden Ross too much. I'm not hating on him. I'm not hating on him at all. I'm not hating on him at all. I just, eh. Hey, uh, uh, like, nah. Like, I want you to go crazy. You know, if if something that you do is make you, make you relevant, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nothing stop you. But it's just me specifically. I'm like, mm, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Go ahead and do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Go crazy. That's just, nah, bro. That's all I'm saying. It's off. Like, I ain't really, I ain't really mess with the content. Like, a lot of people may say, like, yo, you still watch Aiden Ross or whatever, but like, I tune into every single WNL streamer, like, and content creator, whatever. I'm part of the community. I document on the community. So, like, I'm just thinking, like, why not? The 2K24 right. stream that he played 2K24 early. Coming from someone who plays 2K a lot, the stream wasn't bad. Like, especially when he bought his way to level 40, he was the first level 40. Like, 2K, that's such an L that y'all niggas really have people buying level 40, Boy. buying mascots day one. Like, that's that's what I'm saying, like, bro, y'all really spit and spunt a bag just to get, just to get cosmetics, bro. That shit is crazy, <laughs> bro. And I had, and the crazy thing is, I have not touched online yet, and so far, I'm still having fun playing, playing 2K without actually playing online. Like, if I'm playing online, I'm most likely playing with people that I know. And I'm standing on that statement. If I'm playing it online and I'm by myself, the only game mode that I probably will play is probably Wreck. And that's about it. Probably Wreck. I'm going to be honest. Because in 2K23, I only played the theater and Wreck. And that was it. I haven't even touched not one single foot on, uh, on, uh, on Park. Never touched Park. Not one bit. Never touched it. I played theater and played rec. So far, I haven't touched park yet. I haven't touched theater, and I haven't even touched rec yet, because I'm standing on 
how terrible these randoms are. But that's another discussion for another day. Lo, lo and behold, I haven't touched online yet. I haven't. Basically because I wanted to play with people that I actually know. That's all I'm saying. That's crazy to me. Like, shut Nah, nah, I saw Y'all actually. You actually that bought went from your... like grinding all the way from like what rookie to 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 all star or superstar or whatever and to get a mascot or some shit and now y'all got niggas buying that shit day one like that shit is ass but that's a, that's a story for another day like right. I ain't even about to sit here and rant on 2K the game is ass we all know but we still play it we still buy it every year it is what it is yeah. now the Prime and Zerka boxing stream it was very entertaining I'll be honest it was very entertaining the storyline behind it like Zerka was being racist or saying the n-word or whatever oh, they scrapped it out Lord. a little bit and they agreed to actually box and I'm be honest Prime you set us back my nigga I'm gonna be honest the recent e-date I didn't watch it because who was watching e-dates in 2023 like, yeah, bro. Get a life, bro. Oh God, like I, fam, I find that very weird to even, even get into an, an a quote unquote e date. Like, what the hell is you got going on, bro? An e date is kind of, kind of crazy. Cause I, no, no, no. E date streams got it. The Kim Jong Un stream, I give it a W. Cause whenever I did tune in, the shit was funny. This shit was entertaining seeing the reactions in the chat and shit. That was W bait. I'll be honest. I give it a W. So three out of five. That's not bad for a streamer that everybody said fell off. You know what I'm saying? I gotta give him his props for that. Now as for the videos where you change your fans' lives, that's good. Keep doing that. But it's a part of me that doesn't want to believe that this side of Aiden is real and not just a PR stunt. That's Only what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't wanna believe it. But if he's actually out there doing this and that in the third, then Hey, I got to give you a round of applause because I've seen that on streams. I've seen that on ads. I'm sitting there like, this man is real life doing this for real, for real. But there are other times where people can do the same thing and do that for viewership. That's why I'm like, I'm leaning towards, nah, I don't want to believe it. But if it's, if, But if that's genuine love, then I respect that. But if not, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Mad at a fan for selling his $10,000 custom Dior ones that he gifted him. You guys remember that kid in the mall where I gave those uh, Dior shoes to? He sold them, bro. So whoever you are, the worst karma on you, people are going to be like, he's a kid. I don't give a f I looked him in my eyes. I said, these mean a lot to me. I'm getting them to you. Almost anyone in that position would sell them shoes, bro. Like, let's be real here. If That's a fact. Like, he's getting a bag off those. Like, what? <laughs> uh, like, I ain't going to lie to you, brother. I mean... <laughs> at some point in time you're gonna have to get a bag somehow and rightfully so i mean i can't get mad at him for selling those i mean yeah you gave them to him but at the same time i can't get mad at somebody who was getting something beneficial off of that you know what i'm saying so i can't really get mad at that fan you gave them to me i'm thinking like i'm not keeping these ten thousand dollar shoes i can just sell them bro Get my 10000 reinvest it, do whatever I'm going to do with it. Exactly. That's a smart move. W move. Like, why are we keeping those little Dior ones? I may not be thinking the same way, but at the same time, he got that bag, though, and he was mad. Like, why be mad at something that you gave to somebody? That's like, what I'm saying. About them it's kind of weird. Again 10 times. And that's not the worst part. Aiden got in contact with the person that he sold the shoes to, and he said he's getting them back. Like, bro. That is so weird. And that's one reason why I don't really watch Aiden like that. That is crazy. That's crazy. Aiden don't even much want this man to get a bag for real. That's nuts. That's nuts. That's crazy. Like, if, mind you, if I were to give you some $10,000 shoes and you're going to use them as getting a bag... I can't even get mad at you. I don't expect you to keep them. I don't expect you to keep them. Like, if you're going to do something invested with them, then cool. I respect that. But the fact that you get mad at somebody getting a bag by selling them is kind of crazy. That's low-key hate. Low, that's low-key hate, in my personal opinion. Anyways, the guy who we sold them to, he hit me up. I'm going to get him back. Um, and you have a the worst for you, bro, in life. The worst. I don't give a fuck if you're a kid. I don't care. Wow. Don't so if something bad's going to happen to you, then you're going to learn. Wow. Um, I don't care. I said it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you sold them, cat. 
Wow. Bro, like, that's some pretty boy Fredo shit, bro. Facts! Like, what? That's what I'm saying. How you gonna get mad at somebody getting a bag off of something that you gave away? How you get mad at that? If that was the case, you should have just kept the shoes yourself. If you're gonna get mad at somebody that's gonna make a bag off of something that you give them to, you should have just kept the shoes yourself. You should have kept them yourself. You should have. But the fact that you were mad at that person for getting a bag off of that, that's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. I might go lie, like, let's be real here. Like, that's some Pretty Boy Fredo shit, nigga. Like, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy as shit to me. And speaking of Pretty Boy Fredo, he's actually back with SSH 5.0. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga's actually back, bro. I can't Bruh. even lie. Let me know if y'all want me to talk about that, man. I need 50 likes if y'all want me to talk about that Boy. in my next video, bro. With all that being said, man, it's hey. Fargo. Hope y'all enjoy. Hey, W video, bro. <laughs>